Okie dokie. Who's ready for another chapter of Witchwood? Uh, Witchwood, last thing we did was we did the sheep. We did the ram. That's what we did last. We did the ram and the bull. The bull was weird. I, I think he's the weirdest one. He's the most crazy one. And I think the ram is the most controversial one. <laughs> the ram was wild with his. And now we're going to actually go do... Yeah, because we were here to go see hi to the family. Because the family just... They were sacrificed, man. That's crazy. I wonder where they, like, went off to. I wonder if they were, like, slaves to the Scarecrow or what. But we're going to go do the cat in the market. And then oh, arguing. The market. You elbow your way to the front of a crowd that has gathered to observe a three-way shouting match. A trio of merchants are yelling wildly at each other. Okay. You treacherous fiend! I know it was you that snuck into my shop and put mealworms in my bread. Worms? Do you think I have time to drapes about your silly little bakery? I have to make sure you stay out of my smithy. Firecrackers in my coal? Could have lost an eye. Ha! And you would have deserved it, you traitor. I knew you ruined a whole batch of my candles with that sulfur stunt. Now my store smells like a mule's behind. The men launch themselves at one another, fists swinging in a whirling melee. Off in the shadows, you catch a stealthy figure watching the chaos with a delighted grin. Yahaha! <laughs> dance, dance! How the idiots prance! With a flick of her tail, the feline disappears through the maze of a market stalls. What's all this commotion about? A dull, monotonous voice, a uh, monotonous voice drones out across the square in reply. You don't even know the worst of it. <laughs> Oh. I saw you do it! Okay. Is it- are we talking to the mule? <laughs> He's so cute! He's so chubby and adorable! I love him! Sad unicorn. Hitched to a post, this tragic creature raises its tear-filled eyes at you. Despite its depressing appearance, you find yourself somehow feeling lighter. What on earth is a rainbow spirit doing in the midst of a market brawl? I thought your kind thrived on love and sunshine and all that sappy dribble. A rainbow spirit? Oh, sure. Normally this market's a wonderful place to be, but lately it's been nothing but misery and unrest. Just look around. All I see are three little brats puffing out their chests and barking like mutts. Surely a hot meal and good night's rest will cool their heads? I'm afraid it goes deeper than that. You see, all sorts of awful things have been happening. Vandalism in folks' gardens, trash in the well, wagon wheels tampered with, rumors spreading like wildfire about this or that, cheats and lies. Now, I'm usually the one who keeps pe the peace around here with my trusty magic horn, makes the truth flow and keeps folks honest, but with all the deception and treachery in the air, it's a limp as a, <laughs> it's limp as a noodle. My powers are useless. Tsk, tsk. A droopy horn is no laughing matter. If you had a bit of a pick-me-up, do you suppose you could get this place under control? Sure is, sugar. I just need to get some of my strength back. Aw, a good stack ought to perk you right up. Rainbow roll. Okay. What is this? Oh, brother. Dough. Ah, oh, I need jar of milk. Okay, I have enough to make jars, so now we gotta go back to go make a jar of milk, and we have to go get eggs. Okay. And a glitter bomb, which we can make. Oh, I need another jar now. Okay. Here we go. So, where is... Oh, the teleporter's right here. There you are, Milky! Thank you. Thank you. You are so sweet. And now we gotta get some eggs. I think it said if we just touch them... Ah, thank you. Thank you. What if I touch the rooster? Oh, I can't. <laughs> I thought if I touched him, he would also drop an egg. <laughs> okay, we got all the stuff. Easy peasy. One, two, three. It's a unicorn. I hope you're going to be happy. Maybe he'll be happy and tell the truth about what these uh, people are arguing about. Because it seems like they're accusing each other more than anything. All right, here is your roll. I gotta make the dough. There we go. Oh, I'm out of green now. Great. Rainbow roll. A delicious treat. The magic paste sparkles beautifully on one's tongue. Oh. There you go. 
The miserable creature dips its snout into to investigate your tasty dessert. Is is this for me? It troubles me to see a benevolent beast afflicted by such melancholy melancholy jeez and the quicker that horn of yours works the quicker we can sort out this mess throwing back its head the unicorn swallows the odd confection without even chewing the spots on its back glow a soft lavender and its hooved feet levitate off the ground for just a moment from above a thin sliver of sunlight breaks through the clouds and sparkles off the unicorn's horn momentarily blinding you in a dazzling flash when you look back, the unicorn is happily wagging its tail at you. Its horn looks reinvigorated with a pearlescent sheen. Ah, that hit the spot. Looks like old truth detector's working again. Well, what are you waiting for? Blast those fools. The unicorn lowers its horn and takes aim at the feuding shopkeepers. A long moment passes as the unicorn's body quivers with anticipation. Uh, um, wait, I swear this never happened. My powers are all charged up, but none of them are actually lying. So they really did sabotage each other's business then? My horn will only be able to blast the lies out of someone who's truly false. As far as I know, they're each telling the truth. Hmm, which means someone else must be responsible for this mess. The feuding shopkeepers run out of insults to hurl at each other and all storm back to their business in a huff. I'll go investigate the scenes of the crimes at their shop. Maybe I can turn up some clues. Okay, let's see, uh, is this a mythic, or not a mythic, uh, what do you call it, a mimic, oh that's Thief, don't want to be near him, speak to the Chandler in the candle shop, well, where's that, I don't know where no candle shop is, that's a mimic, not over here, what is this to, to the village, okay, uh, is it up here, this is the bakery, oh, might as well go in it, they say bake it till you make it. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, how you doing? Also oh, angry. Oh, can I can I rob you real quick? <gasps> Thank you. Oh, so many goodies for me. Urgh, that old fish blacksmith just grinds my gears. I ought to give him a smack on the brow next time I see him. Master Baker, please settle down. You've been tricked. Ha! I very much doubt that. Only a fool would believe that story without any evidence. Fine. You want evidence? I'll get you some. The true criminal must have left clues around here somewhere. Well, have you got any evidence yet? Cat's confession. Where the frick am I gonna find that? What is this? This strange vase doesn't look like it belongs in a bakery, and there's still some bugs and dirt inside. An inscription on the side reads, Harold Grimes, 17 blah blah to 17 blah blah, hanged under the old grave tree for crimes and he never committed. What? Okay. I gotta speak to Chandler. Visit the old hanging tree in the graveyard? Is that where his confession is? Well, let's talk to all the other ones first, I guess, to kind of get to see if we can all go to the same place. Where is Chandler? No. Oh, there's a meat shop here. Okay. No chan- Who are you? Workers only. Okay, alright. He looks like he might be important later. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I don't know where I'm going. What is that? I need to deal with that goose first. Oh, I'm sorry! <laughs> okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Don't deal with it. Uh, fisherman? No. Oh, here. Is this the smithy? This looks like the smithy. Hold on. <gasps> smithy! The iron anvil. Okay. Oh, he's got so much to dig up here. Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you for your uh, donation to the witchcraft society. I'll just be taking that. Alright, thank you. What's up? Ah, that blasted Chandler. I'll wring his scrawny neck. Calm yourself, Master Blacksmith. You're being played for a fool. Ha! Fat chance. Only some hard evidence could ever convince me that it wasn't that blundering knave. If someone really has been sneaking around in here, there ought to be some clues left behind. Only evidence could possibly change my mind. Cat's confession. Well, 
there's gotta be something in here. Completely mundane. Uh, let's see. Oh, here? Nothing out of the ordinary. Perfectly ordinary supplies. There has to be something here. This thing? Perfectly ordinary. Mm, oh, completely mundane. Does he actually have nothing? Oh! Some fireworks have been hastily shoved into this coal barrel. A tag on the firework reads, Property of the ta of Town Watch. If lost, please return to the village gallows. So now we have to go to the village. Got it. And I guess there's gonna be like a confession here or something. Okay, now where is Chandler? I'm just gonna look on the map. I, I can't figure it out for the life of me. Ah, okay. So just immediately to my uh, left. Over here. Ooh, a snail! Wait a minute, I can get a snail from that? Uh, the Undying Flame. Hey, buddy! Ooh, I like how this place looks. That insufferable baker. I'll tear his nose off next time I see him. Settle down, Master Chandler. You're being duped by a prankster. Pah, a prankster? It was that baker, I'm sure of it. I don't see no evidence to the contrary. You want evidence, eh? I bet there's a clue around here that will unveil the real truth. Get some evidence or get out! Got, got it. Okay, you all want confessions. Nothing out of the ordinary. Nothing there. Completely mundane. Perfectly normal supplies. This bag smells suspiciously of sulfur and has a shipping address stamped on it. Pier 3 imports the dockyards. Okay, ooh, and you have a chest for me. Hold on. Thank you for your donation. You had lard? Why would you have lard? Sweet. So we'll go to... I'm just gonna go top down. We'll go to the docks first. And then we'll end at the village. Luckily, I have the teleporter to everywhere I need to go. Ha ha ha. I am a genius. Hello, Pelican. My goodness. Uh, nothing. What? There's nothing here. I'm, I'm investigating. Pelican, do you have a confession for me? Oh, this is the shipping address for the sulfur crates, but you don't find anything incriminating. You do, however, spot something wedged between the watery piles of the pier. Something must have gotten knocked off the docks, or it was purposely disposed of. Let's reel it up and take a look-see. I need to make a line, right? I don't have a fishing line. Where is it? Am I blind? Where is it? It's not that. Here it is. Looks like spaghetti. Spaghetti and a single meatball. There you go. You fish out an empty sulfur tin with a wad of wet paper stuffed inside. Though the ink is running, you can still make out the loopy handwriting. Another brilliant strategy by the world's most brilliant strategist. That's me! cat. If you're reading this, then be sure to write my name down in the history books. The sulfur smells so rotten, he'll put those candlesticks the Chandler makes right in the trash. He'll think the baker did it when I dust the shop with flour. Well then, this is proof that the Chandler- this is the proof the Chandler's looking for. Why would he write a confession? Smart guy. Smart guy. Very proud of his pranks. There we go. Hanging tree is- I actually don't know where I am. Is this it? This is it. Yep. Hello? The crooked fellow peers down at you, as if you're someone else coming to make fun of his eternal predicament. You spot a piece of paper floating inside his translucent body. Ugh. What you got there? Don't suppose I can convince you to cough up that paper, can I? Uh, some spirit salt all to do. Oh. Well, luckily I got some embalming salt, huh? No, that's unveiling powder. What are spirit salts? Oh, I do need unveiling powder for it. Okay. Boinky. Spoinky. And... Cough it up! You sprinkle the exercise salts onto the ghost. He sputters and sneezes up the paper suspended inside his head before going back, swinging as if nothing happened. Looks like a page of someone's diary. My best plan yet. These grave bugs will make the baker's buns taste like embalmed eclairs. I'll just dump the dirt out of this stupid urn to carry them. This should be proof enough to convince the baker who the real culprit was. Thank you. I'm sorry that he shoved that in your mouth. I hope you feel better. Gosh, that gives me uh, 
It makes me think of the Crooked Man game. I like want to play it so bad and I don't because that game freaking creeps me out. I don't know if I would be able to function. He's so fast in that game. I've been re-watching it. He's so fast. Investigate the gallows. Is this the market? No, it's not. Where the frick is the gallows? Where is the one? Gallows? Oh, there. That's the gallows? I don't know what gallows are. Hey! Oh, look at the confetti! I love it. It's so cute. They're having such a good time. Ah, these are the gallows. Yeah. You peer through the slated planks of the town's gallows. It doesn't look like it's seen much use recently. The space underneath it, it is stuffed with evidence of storage. Evidence, storage, and parade decorations, including a box of dusty fireworks. An errant note catches your eye, but you can't quite fit your hand through the wooden planks. Drat, I'll need something to thin and grabby. Is that the... this thing? This? A pluck pocket? Are you freaking kidding me? How do I get a pickpocket's glove in a crab pot? Ugh. Is there a pickpocket over here to make my day easier? You are. Okay, what do I need for you? Shiny lure. Got it. And now I need fireflies <laughs> and reedy twine. Oh my gosh. Okay, well this one, now I actually have to go around. Thought I could get by really quick with these, but uh, nope, it's got me. Dang it, man. Dang it. Clock pocket. Clever fingers to find their way into deep pockets, now conveniently from a distance, useful against villagers and fisher folk. I don't know why we need to do it against the villagers. I haven't found a use, but against this, fine. There we go. You pluck out the slip of paper from under the gallows. It looks like a torn notebook page hastily stuffed in a crack, almost wanting to be discovered. If you're reading this, then you have no doubt. You, you've no doubt been witness to my greatest crime spree. I, the cat, will be remembered throughout history as the greatest underground mastermind. The town Flatfoots will never notice a couple parade fireworks missing, and the blacksmith buffoon will lose more than a few chest hairs. How arrogant. This proof ought to convince the blacksmith of the cat's involvement. Take it. Okay, now we have all the evidence, and now we can go and reveal the truth, but this cat is awful. An arrogant little idiot. That's all he is. <laughs> Imagine writing down all your schemes. Crime would be so much easier to solve. Uh, he cares more about his status than anything, I guess. Alright, we'll go to the blacksmith first. Oh, Smithy, I have some news for you. You're gonna be shocked. You're gonna be flabbergasted. Here you go. Only evidence could possibly change mine. The man's beady eyes go wide with anger as he reads through the paper. Why, that no good cat. The market, the whole market could have gone up in a big ball of fire. I take it you'll let the Chandler off the hook? Sure, sure. Looks like he wasn't involved in this plot. Though I still don't care for his candles much. <laughs> Excellent. Maybe with you three at peace, we can get to the bottom of this. So, I, all right, let's go to Chandler. Chandler, Chandler, you're off the hook. I didn't know a person who makes candles is called a Chandler. Is that is that actually true, or is that just like a different status that he has, and he just also makes candles? I like his house though. House is cute. <gasps> Chandler, Chandler. Get some evidence. Uh, here you go. The Chandler's cheeks flush br a bright red, stomping and shouting at the cat's confession. Why that yowling pest? That's my whole livelihood she's meddling with. You agree the baker's innocent then? Hmm? Pa! Looks like he didn't have his have a hand at this horrible crime. Though his bread is still stale if you ask me. Alright, boy. As long as you three put a stop to this ruckus, maybe we could put an end to this grudge after all. I'll keep my eyes peeled for that darn cat. She won't show her nose around here again. That's for sure. Y'all are still roasting his stuff, man. I, listen, I'm a huge fan of bread. Even stale bread, I can't lie. Oh, are these raccoons? Aww. Uh, mm. Mm, oh, this guy's a skin, a skin seller, that's why. Well, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Hello! Your stale bread! 
Well, have you got any evidence yet? Cat's confession. The baker's brow arches in anger as he reads the cat's confession. That unrefined little urchin. How dare she tamper with my buns like that? <laughs> tamper with my buns? You'll forgive the blacksmith then? Huh? Well, sure. Doesn't look like he was involved in this at all. Splendid. If you three get along enough, we can bring the real culprit to justice. Sweet. So he's the only one <laughs> that didn't roast any of the other products, but these two hate each other. Now that these three fellows have cooled down a little bit, I better have a chat with that plump purple pony to figure out the best way to confront this swindler. Gosh, what a word. Plump purple pony, plump purple pony, plump purple pony. Well, at least you could say it fast. Oh, plump purple pony, I got news for you. Hello. Why is your little thing flaccid? Oh, Joy, you're back. Did you find anything in those shops? It would appear your market is plagued by the mastermind schemes of the cat. Well, maybe not so masterminded. She did leave a bunch of clues for me to find. As though summoned a furry shaped somersault onto a nearby rooftop with a flourish. Yeah, I see you're a fan of my genius accomplishments. Well, you're in luck. Soon I'll have this whole village at my mercy. Quickly, your magic horn. The unicorn shuffles its stumpy legs to get a better shot at the monologuing feline. With a flick of her tail, the cat disappears, leaving only her voice cackling in the air. Yeah, you'll have to be faster than that, slowpokes. Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm not very maneuverable in high pressure situations. Me too, me too. Uh, don't fret, we'll just have to make sure she stands still next time. I should be able to concord a tantalizing kitty treat, strong enough to keep her attention. I'll set it up by the big statue there, and you just get ready to fire. Curio feeling curio recipe. What? What? I don't have any of these. Blue feather, great. Pigeon beak. Uh. Okay, so I guess I need more of these. I actually have two of these, so that works fine for me. Pigeon beak and mimic's toe. Oh, and this is where I have the key. I already have the key. Hold on, this might be a lot easier than I thought. You're a pigeon. So what if I just wait patiently? Is that a mimic there? No. Hello, there you are. Go on, it's fine. Thank you. What a disgusting little item. A little beak. Ugh. Uh, is that a mimic up there? That's a mimic. Let me get around. Is it actually a mimic? Hold on, it actually might not be. Are you a mimic? Yes, you are. <laughs> I hate it. Oh, get you and your pubes out of here. How do I get my inventory? Here we go. All right, I'm ready for you. I'm ready! Oh, hatch it, hatch it, hatch it! Ah! That didn't... Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, that didn't give me his toe. Sweet, and now all we need to go is to the forest. <gasps> oh, me oh my, what a lucky day it is. I had all this stuff. All right, jeez, finally, we did it. Okay, all right, all right. Make it. Why did I make another one of those? Luckily, I had a fish, and now I have enough and now i can make the feline curio and then i can place it but fear or do i have to give it to you do i give it to you where do i put it <laughs> there got it you place down the scrumptious looking cat tree and duck behind a pumpkin to hide within moments you hear the telltale laughter of the cat over the market stalls yeah that's the best you can do what do you take me for a basic alley cat you'll need more than a lump of garbage to catch me Despite her lofty words, you see her eyes go wide and her tail flick as the scent of fish and catnip reach her nose. Why, I'm the most sophisticated criminal underlord this world has ever... Say, what's... what is that? Tuna? You give the signal to the unicorn, but see that the beast is still facing entirely the wrong direction. Ugh, must I do everything around here? What do we do? We have to turn him around? Oh, look at her! Oh, she's cute! She's adorable! <laughs> Okay, turn around. You slap the unicorn on its haunches, jolting it out of a daydream. Huh? What? Oh, right. The cat. <laughs> the beast carefully takes aim, making sure to account for drag and wind speed direction. Wow. All right. I've got her in the, this time. By the light of the truth, I banish all lies from thee. A brilliant spark of rainbow light emits from the unicorn's horn and streaks towards the preoccupied cat. Oh. 
When the colorful smoke de clears, you can see you can't see nor you can't see hide nor hair of the cat. Only a smoldering pair of fancy leather boots remain near the statue. Wow, for a moment there, I thought all that talk about your magic horn was pure hogwash. I, I mean, it usually doesn't have such an explosive effect. I only meant to expel the lies from her, but I guess she was all lies. Didn't have a truthful bone in her body. Well, whatever the reason, I suppose she won't be blighting your market any longer. Yes, that's right. I can't wait for life to get back to normal. Thank you for all your help. You glance at the cat. One of the cat's boots slumped over on the side. I better go gather her up. Ooh. Oh, I heard her. She cried. Oh no, that was the cat's down here. You pick up the smoking boots of the cat. A rainbow hue radiates of the leather. Of the leather, they smell strongly of feet and candy. The soul of the cat. Though you suspect she may have eight more lives left. Oh, and look, all the cats are here. <laughs> it's so cute. What a good one. That one was way quicker because we had a bunch more stuff. And that's what I like. That's what I like to see. I want it quick. I want it done. It was sweet. That was a cool chapter. <laughs>